next video, um, I'm just going to go through your VSTs, really. Um, so you had your checklist of getting your door, your VSTs, mics, uh, headphones, all that fun stuff. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you how to download and install some VSTs. Now, there are tons of VSTs that you can get. Um, if we just, let me just get rid of these. I was trying different software screen capture. But anyway, um, if I Google free uh, VST, you'll find tons. There's one particular, oh, there you go. First one here, VST free. This is brilliant, this place. Um, find loads of stuff that you want. There's a little search gear there. Um, you can just go ahead and, I don't know, wha uh, what do we search for? Piano, let's go for piano. Forefront piano, lovely, I don't like the look of that one. Taking a long time to load, looks like I'm just gonna take that one for now. Come on. Um, and what we'll do is we'll download it and I'll show you how to install it as well. Um, and then get it running on, um, on your door. Now it might be slightly different on different doors, um, but the process is pretty much the same. Um, if you're following me on Podium, then absolutely, why is this taking so long? It's annoying me. Right, uh, if you're following me on Podium, then absolutely this will be the one for you, really. You, you follow it exactly this way. I'll tell you what. From oh. Right. I just cut out a bit, um, it took far too long to install, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download, well I've already downloaded this really, I'll just show you exactly what, how to install it. So you've downloaded it, I've just whacked it on my desktop, um, extract it, let's put it, uh, there it might be, so that should create a new folder, lovely, here's the folder, these dot DLLs are your VSTs, you want to take them out of here. Um, and then for Podium, you'll go to your C drive, and then I've got the 32-bit version. So in here, um, down to Zimewave, Podium, and then you have a folder called VST Plugins. This is where all of your VSTs go. Um, here's the ones that I've got already. What I'll do is I'm just going to dump this one straight there. Um, so what Podium will do, or your door will do, it will look in this folder for any VSTs, really. Um, any .dll, any files that it, it can use. So now that's in there, we've got, um, da -da -da, we've got, uh, see this is the plugin here running, but it's not there, that's the important thing, right? So, uh, so what we'll do is we update and, and reload to get any new plugins. We can reload the whole thing, um, so like get rid of all of this list um, and then put a new one in. Um, put a new list in, but there we go. There's our Voxengo recorder, and then it's just popped up in there. So if I go back into here and go to add, there it is. Okay, so that's how you add your VSTs. You do it with the campus thing. Um, all the, as I said, all the ones that you um, it's still not loading. There's something wrong. Oh, it's back. But that's how you do it. That's how you you're adding the VSTs. Um, as I said before, get the GVSTs. Look, you get all of these with them, all the mono and stereo versions of each other. Uh, they're very good, for at least for a, a starting point. Um, I mean, there are other things that I use instead of, like there's a, there's a delay. I mostly, I sometimes use the, um, the Reaper delay. This is a, a freeload of p plugins you can get as well. If you search um, Reaper free, Reaper free plugins. There we go. I've, I've searched that recently. Um, then you can. I don't know, mate. Right, let's keep playing it. Then you can um, get those ones, and they are very good, especially the EQ. The EQ is really good on that. Um, as for mastering your e, uh, an EQ, I use a little something called Dub Turbo, which is this one here. Um, what I'll do is I'll just run, run this, this so you can so you'll be able to hear the new chest tester coming. <laughs>
ground, so that's, that's been clean. And I'll add to you, this is the, the I've got my own template of this, but um, this is pretty much where I got it from. I just changed it a little bit to taste. Um, it's a bit brighter, if I disable it, look. same kind of plugin. In fact, I've got three different EQs. Um, I've got two different delays that I use. Uh, you know, things like that. And then if you want to try out different limiters, different compressors, different gates. I mean, I, I use the the Reaper gate for for my um, snare drum and kick drum. But then I use the GVST gate for my guitars and my vocals. So I just feel that it works a little bit better. So get a load of them, chuck them all in there. It's not going to do any harm. If you don't use them, you don't use them. But that's how you load them in through that through that folder. Um, yeah, pop them into here, and then um, off you off you go. Really, you're all good. Um, the next video, I'll be talking about how to use Podium. So if you're not using Podium, you know, feel free to watch it anyway. You might there might be some things that cross reference, but uh, it's going to be very Podium based. It's only going to be like um, it's going to be a quick video how to record, how to add a new track, how to create a new project, all of those kind of things. Um, so if you're following me or using Podium, then next one's definitely for you. Thanks.